Hi everyone, today on Ask Kelly we're going to be talking about the liquid diet. So sugar is a hot topic at the moment and with the summer holidays approaching, I thought I would give you some insights into the potential drinks that you may be choosing on the beach this summer. So I've pulled out some of the most commonly drunk drinks amongst my group of friends and amongst my patients and I thought I would look at the teaspoons of sugar in each of the drinks. So, I started with my first three favorite alcoholic beverages. So there's a bit of a misconception when it comes to red and white wine. People often think that white wine is lower in sugar or calories than red. And as you can see, I've compared a Merlot to a Sauvignon Blanc and they're pretty much the same. One and a half teaspoons of sugar for 200 mls of red wine and one and a quarter teaspoons of sugar for 200 mls of white wine. So they're not really that different. If we look at champagne though, a flute of champagne is normally 120 mls, which is almost half of a glass of wine. And as you can see, it's only equivalent to half a teaspoon of sugar. So mill to mill, it is the same as wine, but we do tend to drink a little bit less because the glasses are smaller. So a glass of bubbles is definitely less sugar than a glass of wine, but if you were to drink equivalent mill per mill, you're having the same amount of sugar. So as you can see in a normal beer, it contains two teaspoons of sugar, whereas a light beer contains only half a teaspoon of sugar. So you could in theory have four light beers for every one normal beer, and the alcohol percentage is both 4% in both of the beers. So you still could get as tipsy on the light beer as in the normal beer, just having less sugar. Both whiskey and vodka, as you can see, contain negligible amounts of sugar. So there are good options if you are trying to lower the sugar content in your diet. The problem comes in though, is with the mixes that we choose. So if we look at the most common mixes, you've got tonic water, lemonade and coke. Vodka normally, I would say, is drunk with either coke or lemonade. And as you can see, one lemonade tin contains five and a half teaspoons of sugar where the vodka has nothing, but a vodka, vodka lemonade is five and a half sugars, and a vodka tonic would be four and a half sugars. Whereas a vodka and Coke, one can of Coke has nine teaspoons of sugar in it. So vodka maybe isn't the best option because you can't really have it on the rocks. If you had it with a shot of lime cordial, which a lot of people like to have, and soda, a shot of lime cordial is half a teaspoon of sugar. So it's definitely a better option. Whereas your whiskey, you can have it with soda or with water or on the rocks and therefore not add any sugar to it. Two of the biggest tricksters in the market are your coconut water and your fruit juice. Um, in one of these coconut water bottles, which is 330 mils, there's five and a half teaspoons uh, worth of sugar. And in the fruit juice, the small little 200 ml box, there's four and a half teaspoons of sugar. So they're certainly not your healthy alternatives. Many people ask me about the coconut water and whether it's a good antioxidant drink or whether it's good for rehydration. And I always say if you want coconut water, go and buy a coconut and crack it open and drink that water or soak the coconut fruit in water overnight and drink that. That's a really good rehydrate and it is really thirst quenching. These manufactured ones are definitely not a good option as you can see it's almost the same as half a can of coke in one of these coconut waters <music>